Hey everyone, welcome to Motoring. my name's Nez. Now today I'm catching up with an old friend from university. I've known this guy for five years and he said, just meet me outside a Mercedes C-Class. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm waiting, I'm it's waiting. It's not that one, you idiot. Oh, one. Mr. Wallace. So it is the C63. <laughs> What's How's it going, man? Good to see you. How are right. You? I'm sure you know this face, Mr. Paul Wallace himself, Supercars of London. Um, we actually go back quite a long way. We went to the same university, did the same degree, had the same lectures, hung out in the same social team and had the same friends. So now he's got a 70 grand Merc. So well, five years on, we're, five doing, years we're, on. we're both doing YouTube. <laughs> exactly. So uh, we've come a long way. Obviously, Paul has had a Lamborghini Hurricane. He's had all these supercars. So we're going to have a catch up with Mr. Paul Wallace from Supercars of London, see how he is, and uh, see if he's still good at his drinking game because uh, <laughs> this guy can, uh, can down a pint. We nearly got you run over. You haven't got alcohol, really, have you? Nah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, drink, no drink and driving, by the way. No, we don't condemn that. Um, so today we're just going to jump in his Merc and uh, we're going to have a little catch up. And yeah, see where the day takes us. So it's a beautiful sunny day in London. It's nice. It's um, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mr. Wallace. Yes. How have you been, sir? I've been good. Yeah? I've been good. We've, we've had an exciting start to 2018 because for those that don't know my channel, for the last nine and a half years I've been filming <laughs> yeah. supercars. If you've been me, living under a rock. It makes me feel <laughs> incredibly old. And I announced that I was going to continue filming supercars, driving supercars and doing cool stuff with them. Yeah. But I was also going to learn car control, learn how to drift. So like some really exciting stuff because it just hopefully over time will allow me to create different types of content. Right, wicked. Now I've, I've been following it for a long time. Because what actually happened, uh, after university, uh, Paul left, but obviously we never knew, I didn't really know about the, what your channel and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, I was in the year below Paul. And yes. next thing we <laughs> hear, Paul's got an RA, I was like, what? Because <laughs> normally when you leave university, you're, you've got debt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, know, good for him. I was like, wow, so impressed. It was motivating for me as well, because he, he knew it was possible. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm actually going to go this way. Sorry to yeah, no worries. Uh, interrupt the original plans. The London traffic is building up. You know what? It was so weird, because whilst I was at university, obviously I had the channel, yeah. but I never put my face on camera. Yeah. So whilst I was filming cars during Easter, summer and Christmas, it wasn't something that I took out on a social night whilst, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. whilst we're doing drinking games, whilst we're <laughs> having a bit of lad banter. Oh, by the way, guys, I just filmed an amazing yeah. Ferrari Enzo at the weekend. Oh, like, <laughs> yeah, it was a, it gave it a few revs, you know? It's got a few that's thousand what, views. That's what it was like. And back then, like, YouTube was such an early thing. Yeah. The, the development of even the website wasn't even that strong so I was doing it for a bit of fun a bit of a laugh and it was only when I came out of university that I was like now I want to try and take this to the next level I don't know how I'm gonna do it but if I put the work in if I spend enough time in London spend enough time filming cars yeah then I'll be able to to get it so it was weird seeing you for the first time coming back to uni because obviously I graduated a year before you yeah and then you were like, dude, I've been watching your channel, and I'm like, <laughs> I completely forgot that like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was out there on the public domain. So it was really cool to then be able to chat to you about yeah. cars and stuff because it's it's so weird that 
we've known each other for so long and knew each other for so long before you even realized that I had a YouTube yeah, channel. Yeah, yeah. Before I even realized that you were like properly into, into cars. cars. So your car history. So yeah, you started with the R, right? No, no Astra. Uh, right, the Astra. With, yeah, start with the Astra. I mean, you remember that down at the tennis club. Oh, was, that was a war was, course, that it car. Was, it was a beast. Um, <laughs> I bought that car on, I think it had done about 72,000 miles. And I actually bought that car from like my first big YouTube paycheck. Oh, nice. Um, after a couple of videos popped up on the YouTube.com homepage, my views went through the roof, my subscribers went through the roof, and I earned decent money back then when AdSense was paying a lot better than it is now. <laughs> um, Damn you, AdSense. <laughs> <laughs> so I had an Astra, which I subsequently sold. Um, and bought an Audi R8, which is a pretty ridiculous jump to make. That is a big jump, um, yeah. I love that car. Yeah. Like, and even recently, it, within the last seven days, I've driven a manual V8 R8. Ooh. And it was so nostalgic, and it felt amazing. And it just reminded me of the days of when I had that car. Memories. It's still such a cool car. Yeah. Whilst inside it's dated, and the technology that you've got inside is is quite dated. Mm. It's such a cool car to drive. Like the, the gated gear. Yeah, yeah, exactly. V8 engine. Yeah. You can't beat it. It's so cool. And right now they're at a fantastic price point. I know. Like 40, for a good one, 45. 40 good. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Which obviously you can then beat the dealer up on a bit of a price. <laughs> and you put an Armatrix exhaust in yours, yeah. lowered it, wrapped it, <laughs> gazillion times. Oh, we can't forget about the man. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was a decision that I made. I thought that it could be really cool to try and personify the car. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to try and create that car as a character on my channel as much as I was a character on the right. channel. So I wanted to wrap it like the Iron Man. The R8 was obviously such an iconic car in the Iron Man films yeah, yeah, yeah. that it just seemed like the right fit. And I loved it. We changed the wrap a couple of times from red and gold, and then it went baby blue, and then it went matte grey. And yeah, it was I would say the R8 was more of a workhorse than the Astra. Really? Yeah. To be fair, you went to the Alps with that um, R8. You did yeah. quite a lot of yeah. travelling in I that, I did a lot you? of miles in that car, yeah. and I drove it every day. It was my only car. <laughs> I'll never forget your first video. I can't open up the fuel filling cap. Yeah, I broke it. <laughs> I was like, Paul, no! <laughs> To the Gallardo. Yeah. Was it the Balboni you got? Uh, no, Bicolori. Bicolori. I oh, wanted right. a Balboni. I wasn't cool enough for a Balboni. Right. So I tried to do a Balboni on my <laughs> Hurricane for the Balboni stripe on the 580-2, nice. which is an awesome car. Yeah. But now we're driving a C63, so it's a weird sort of jump. It's not even a jump, but I've probably fallen a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you got backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you find it, as, as you're getting older, you appreciate yeah. the comfort of... It's Bentley, mate. <laughs> Bentley, Rolls Royce. Less of the supercars. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that, that Definitely that. not. Definitely not. This car has been with me for three weeks. Yep. I'm loving it. I'm still very new to the C63. I had an AMG GTS, which is an AMG, but completely different to this car. This is my sort of daily driver. This is the car that I drive every day, yep. that I like putting miles on. And we've just had a discussion on my video Make about- Make sure you check it out, yeah. About modifying it and, yeah. and stuff like that. So Paul's lowered it, um, but may, actually I won't say anymore because make sure you head over to his channel <laughs> to find out what he's doing to this car because it's pretty nuts. Yeah. Uh, link in the description below to all his social channels. But here we go, tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Still love braking traction. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat a four litre V8, can you? Well, you can with a 6.2. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 but good comeback, this, good comeback. <laughs> in this day and age, in this production line, you can't. No, you can't. No, no. AMGs are that they just know what they're doing with engines. They're just, especially twin turbo, they're just yeah. amazing. Yeah, they sound good. Right, guys. So. I'm going to ask Paul some quick fire questions. Are you ready for this, Paul? <laughs> I'm ready, but I'll say right now that normally these questions end up being quite not quick. <laughs> we'll quite um, slow. Well, I mean, this is now, this is a dead end as well. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Sorry, this, this car here literally like is reversing back onto a main road. She does not know what she's doing. No, like you drive on the left here. Favourite car of all time? 
Lamborghini Murcielago P640. That was a given. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, you're actually getting that, isn't you? Well, hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, yeah. Lovely. Hopefully. Close second event in a race. I love that car. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. What colour would you go for? Mm, tough question. Because they look good on every colour. I suppose you always wrap it, don't you? Mm. you always... I do like the I do like the white, which is weird because I'm not a big white car fan. Mm. Sitting in a white Merc C63, but <laughs> maybe like maybe satin white, satin white. Okay. Good shot. Alrighty, that's sorted. Next question: favorite meal. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? I mean, I think you can answer this question from the Winchester day. <laughs> yes. Dominoes. Dominoes. I actually got upset once coming back from a night out and ordering Domino's, I started to get upset because I was eating it and I knew in the morning I wasn't going to remember it. <laughs> so I was getting annoyed that I wasn't going to remember the taste. <laughs> <laughs> Domino's. Domino's. What, 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 what's your favourite? Texas uh, barbecue. Oh, yes. Next question. Favourite YouTube moment in your nine years of YouTube? I would say right now my favourite moment is definitely collecting my Gallardo. It was such a big deal. I'd always said I wanted a Lamborghini before I was I turned 25. Yeah. And I was 24 and eight or nine months and I went and got the Gallardo. And it was a huge deal. Like I was so nervous. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I made a video of driving back like that. I started to get so excited about the fact that I bought this car and I was making this video about just, just follow your dreams and if you really are motivated to do something, then you'll yeah. do it. The opportunities will come. You create your own luck. You create your own opportunities. And the Gallardo was by far my favorite moment. Um, but more recently, announcing the drifting stuff. Yeah. In the next nine years, I'll look back and say, announcing the drifting stuff was such a big game-changing chapter to my channel, but also yeah. hopefully wider than just my channel. Um, I think it's going to be a really, really cool thing. Wicked. Um, when so, I jump in the LaFerrari and start doing Jim Carnaby. The Chris Harris of the, uh, the YouTubers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, that looks cool. Nice. No I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, that's, that's how much we know about cars. <laughs> <laughs> the stuff that you do, but that's going back to the passion that we have yeah. with it. Because if we didn't like it, we wouldn't do it. We wouldn't do it, no, exactly. So. Exactly. Any opportunities it brings? Because look at me, I'm now sitting in here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's an opportunity or not, really. Or <laughs> no, Nez, you just WhatsApp me. <laughs> said, what are you doing today? I'm bored, Paul. Let's just go for a drive. <laughs> um, all right, next one. Favourite Top Gear episode? Ooh. You're a Top Gear fan? Massive Top Gear fan. Um, okay, favourite Top Gear episode? I would say it's either the 612 Scaglietti down to Verbier. Oh, that was good. Racing um, a, was it a plane? Racing a plane. Yeah. Or when they, there's two episodes actually, um, where they took the Zonda, 430 Spider, and 4 GT down to the bridge, or the Superleggera, the GT3 RS. And what was the other car? Vantage. Vantage. The yellow one. Where yes. Dave's always yeah, naked yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one, because I know I always forget the Vantage because the Super Legere just sounded so good. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It was manual. <laughs> like my favourite episode was the. I love the Patagonia special when they oh, took the yeah. Lotus. Yeah, I thought that was yeah. hilarious. Um, also loved the Botswana special, the Africa special. <laughs> yeah. Righty, Paul. Last few questions. Yeah. Favorite holiday destination. Ooh, favorite holiday destination. Now, okay, for a holiday, yeah, uh, Gran Canaria. But one of my favorite destinations that I've fairly recently discovered is Los Angeles. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I've never been. I'd love to go. Yeah, that place is incredible. A last question. I know you're a big F1 fan. Big F1 fan. And so, Lewis Hamilton mm -hmm. or Alonso? Oh, Lewis Hamilton. Really? Yeah, I love I love uh, Alonso, and I think that his personality and what he brings to F1 and what he has brought to F1 over the years, yeah, is so cool. But for me, Lewis, like, love or hate him, and most people do hate him. Yeah. Like, he is an incredible talent, 
and he as well brings so much to Formula One that might get swept under the rug quite a few times because you don't like him mm. and you don't see what he does. But he brings the rock and roll side to Formula One. Exactly. He brings that sort of old era of the James Hunt type vibe that we don't get anymore. I think F1 drivers are so serious and turn up to do their job. Yeah, and that's it. That they're so scientific now that they just t turn up and they don't smile and they don't mm. do anything. They don't provide drama. They don't provide a personality. And yeah, they've all got their little things. And they've all got their little sort of things. But I feel like Lewis brings that sort of celebrity rock star type person exactly. to the grid and I think you need that otherwise mm. F1 would be too boring, boring yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I 100% agree people like you saying bolted to Texas yeah. and you know yeah. all those big international stars yeah, yeah you need those guys like alright guys so that's a little taste out. we don't want to go too much don't want to bore you too much I'm sure you already know Paul <laughs> quite a lot. I like uh, those questions though. I like uh, those questions. They're good questions. It's fun. Alright Paul, no, I really appreciate it. Mate. Thank you very much. Please make sure you follow Paul. Make sure you check out his channel uh, details in the description below. Uh, his social media, so Instagram, YouTube, Facebook page, all that good stuff. Let's uh, do a video of drifting your Z4. Yes, you, I might have to give you the keys to that. I'm not, I'm not that confident now. <laughs> You're the man. You've had hurricanes. You've had, you, you know your way around the car. Uh, do you want to see that video? Do you want them to give me, give him the keys to my car? Um, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, thanks, Paul. No worries. Thanks Pleasure. And uh, yeah, see you guys soon. See you later, guys. See ya. Bye. Except the lady stuff.